Welcome back. I'm Matthew Heffern. We're just going to do one last bit with the balanced Wheatstone bridge. So now that we've found R6 in the previous video, we can basically go ahead and find the equivalent resistance of the Wheatstone bridge. And for this, it doesn't matter if we have that resistor there or not. Since it's a balanced Wheatstone bridge, we know it won't contribute. So what we know is that this is going to behave just like that isn't there, and we have these two parallel rungs. So the first thing we remember is that for a series circuit, we add the resistances in the arithmetic sum. So the right-hand side, which I'll call REQ, RHS, right-hand side, is just going to be 18 kilo ohms plus 12 kilo ohms. It's going to be 30 kilo ohms. Okay, now REQ LHS, left-hand side, is just going to be equal to 4 kilo ohms plus 2.67 kilo ohms. Well, I've done a little bit of injudicious rounding. Okay, and now what we know is that the REQ total is going to be 1 over REQ LHS plus 1 over REQ RHS minus 1. Okay, so if we go ahead and we substitute all the numbers in, what we find is that the total equivalent resistance of this entire Wheatstone bridge is going to be equal to 5.45 kilo ohms. Okay, now we have the equivalent resistance of this entire circuit component. We, now we can go ahead and calculate any other quantity we want to. We know the current that's being drawn, we can calculate the power dissipated, we can calculate anything we would like, but we've taken that whole massive complex circuit element and we've simplified it down to something really quite simple.